up beautiful people welcome once again to H and clothings and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful skirt here so you can use it in a skirt you can use it in a dress and yeah i have my skirt pattern here the basic the basic skirt pattern i have the back and the front so for this i have my back normally just the regular back with the zipper allowance the dart the basic dart for the back and my front is actually on fold because we'll be slashing through to do the front so for this front pattern you go ahead to put your two darts this is the hip line and for the upper part you can see that there's that half inch coving inward since we're doing a skirt and yeah this is what you need basically so let's just try to um place where that style design will be going into we'll mark it on the pattern cut it out because the front it's not going to be sewn on it if you sew it on it it won't really give you this kind of perfect shape so what we want to do is actually um draw the line through which the front design will be going into then cut the front part into two and you'll be sewing that in between that line so i'm going to keep my back pattern because for the back you're basically not doing anything the main design will be on the front all right guys so for this style design you can see that that um style design is going right through like going through this line close to the close to this line let's say like one inch below this hip line so it's coming from the top up here and it's going all the way like passing through going all the way so we're going to draw it from here So it goes from there to that point. You can decide that, oh, you want to remove the darts. If you don't want any darts in the skirt, this darts here, either you sew them or you remove it from the sides. So let's see. So I'm gonna be removing the darts from the side, one inch on here. I'm gonna measure one inch on the side here and taper it down. It will still serve the purpose. You know, that is just like, um holding any kind of fullness that actually have their role to play but if i do not want that i also as the pattern uh, manipulator can decide that i want to remove my darts i've removed one inch from there i removed the other inch the other one inch from the other side because i have a full front pattern Okay, so I'll just cut off the darts. If you observe, my darts did not get to the hip line. It just stopped about just a little below this line that is here, a little below it. So I just tapered it down to like a triangle. And that's what I'll be cutting off. So I have removed the darts on the side and I cannot cancel this one out so that whoever I will give to cut the pattern, that's if you're doing it like mass production, person will understand that this that no longer exists. So they are not supposed to sew anything when they get to that stage. I'll level this one, my one and my two. So I'm gonna put arrows to show that these are the two parts joining together so that I'm not confused. All right, and I'm gonna be cutting right through there. Just cut right through there. So that is where my style design will sit. All right, so this is my um, front and this is my back. Okay, so before we cut the back, before we cut on the fabric, we actually need to also take care of this dart at the back, okay? 
so this my dart on the back i don't want any dart on the skirt because this fabric is actually thick so i'm going to be removing it along the zipper line or along the side seam but i'll choose along the zipper line so whatever that size i have here i'll remove it here so let's measure what we have here this is like half inch i'm just going to remove it on the side there and all the way to that a little to the hip line so that means this that is off just cutting this away i'm placing this on my fabric now to cut okay guys so this is my front pattern you can see that half inch that is there that will serve as my seam allowance for the front when i put that style design there and this is my back pattern i'm going to be using one inch as well for my zipper allowance despite regardless that it is slanted it doesn't need to be straight before you can measure one inch so from whatever slanted position you have, measure your one inch and do your zipper allowance. I'm going to put a band in this skirt. And yes, let me show you how we are going to be doing our um, style design that will be going there, okay? I'll just show you briefly on... You can cut that one directly on your fabric. So, you're going to be taking your pattern or the fabric that the main skirt whatever one you're working with what you're going to do is to measure the length of this slit right in between so you measure it from the beginning to the end and that's about 30 inches long let me keep this out of the way i'm going to assume this is the fabric i want to cut on that's for that slit let me just assume that this is what we are cutting on okay so I'm going to be folding my fabric into two, like so. However, salvage to salvage or crosswise, however you want to do it. Okay, and I'm going to be measuring 30 inches long because that was the length of the slanted, um, this thing that we have there, 30 inch long. I'm going to put one inch extra for the seam allowance. I'll be sewing up the two ends. And I'm going to mark it, so I'll mark it this way. I hope you guys can see. I'm marking it here and here. So it's going to get here. Then from there, I'll now decide, okay, well, how long do I want one side to be? One side could be about 10 inches, could be about 12, 15, depending on you. So here it's about nine inches. So I guess, okay, let one side be nine inches. So when I'm sewing, because you're going to need to put paper stay and sew it and flip it inside out so when i'm sewing there one side will be like eight inches long and the other side will be like maybe like four or three inches long half of whatever you have here or lesser than that and on this side i can say okay i want this part to be like um four inches so i'll mark four inches there then from this point here from this point here i'm going to rule a straight line to connect this point you can even do it to be to be um more rigid something like that just really and cut it out once you cut it out that part that you have as it's folded that way you're going to put paper stay iron and um flip it inside out give it a very good press and let me show you what you're going to have after you've done that you'll be having something like this so this is mine 
already cut already um sewn turned inside out this is what i'll be using for that part of the fabric you can see mine let me show you how many inches long i used for that one i used um about 11 inches so that means i cut 12 inches because i sewed it on one part like you can see here this other part has no sewing no joining like what you can see it's only this part i cut open that you'll be sewing close yeah and yeah that's just it so this one is already prepared and this is what i'll just be putting inside to do the skirt okay so let me show you how i'm going to be pinning it and finishing it off i'm going to take my two patterns now my two front patterns So one here, one here. I'm going to remove the pins. Okay, this is what I have. And now I'm just going to put this right in between the two of them together. So it's going to be falling this way. So it's coming from that top. I'm sewing it down. I'll just put this on it that way. Sandwich that part in between both of them. I'm sandwiching it and I'm pinning down. I'm saying my half inch. When you do that, this is what you have. After I finish sewing, I'll be having this on the front part of my skirt. This is what the front will be like. You see that part even longer. You can decide you want it longer. This length will have been perfect for the other length if I was not doing a mini skirt. But yeah, fashion, guys, fashion. You can decide to do it longer than what you want to. So I have this. So for the back zipper part, I may put the band before I put the zip. Okay. I would I think I want to put the zip to get all the way to the band. So I'll first pin that part where the um I'll pin that part where the zip will stop because from there you sew one inch down, then this remaining part that is open, you take your zipper, open it up and place it this way. So this is my zipper here, like this now. Ah, huh? see the zipper, see the teeth. So I'll just turn it on it like this palm then i'll pin this one down all the way here mm -hmm. then pin this other one down all the way here. that's if you want the hook and eye on the band but i want the zip to go all the way to the band i don't want the hook and eye on the band so i'm not going to put the zip eye now till i fix the band so let's show that front let's show this bottom part and yeah I have this long strip of fabric here so I'm just gonna be pinning it or just sewing it right on the edge 
Okay, let me see how many inches wide this band is. So my band is actually five inches wide and the width of um, the length of my skirt, five inch wide, five inches wide and the length of my skirt, that's the skirt waist is about 36 inches. So round 36 inches. Now what I'm gonna be doing is just sewing like half inch in and you know that we're going to be turning it inside to create the band at the top before I put my zipper there. Alright guys, so <laughs> can you see this beaut, beaut de la hoot, I don't know what I'm saying but right, <laughs> this is a lovely, lovely, okay, so you can also take a cue from this and do it longer than what it actually should be, see the back looking all nice, smooth, lovely, hemmed bottom, um, perfectly tucked in band okay and the zipper running all the way up to the band yeah instead of using the hook and a eye there let me open so we can see the interior do well to whip this well I will of course the sides and this is where the trick is where we sandwiched that um, style design in front so instead of a plain boring old skirt we have this sandwiched in there instead of sewing it on top because if you sew it on top it won't look so good and also you can see that sandwiching it in there you can't see any stitch on the main fabric okay looking all va va voom va va voom i love it i love it all right so if you are going to be making yours as well do let me know in the comment section below guys engage in this comment section engage let me know will you be making yours as well what color of fabric are you going to use and please share 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 when you try out anything share with us on the community post so that we can see okay we can see and give you a thumbs up and also appreciate you as well thank you so much guys for watching thank you for engaging thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and yeah till we see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you bye